first I need to break Benoit Sandini's face, my brother. That's the truth. Paris takeover, my brother. Moicano is coming for the Paris takeover. Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back to the Show Me The Money podcast. I got both of the boys back on the show. One is with me here in person in Gilbert Burns and our boy Money Moicano on the way to Paris. Tell us where you are right now, bro. What's up, Gilbert? What's up, Matty? What's up? Show Me The Money fans. I am right now on 441, my brother, with a huge traffic. <laughs> Going to the 95 to go to the Miami. Always late, always fucking late. Bro, where? I thought you have a private jet, bro. That's taking you right to Paris. Hmm. I wish, brother. <laughs> I wish. I wish I had a, 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 a jet and then I would sell and buy Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> so how how you feeling, bro, going in this fight? What's, what's, your, what's your prediction, first of all? And when you win, what can people expect to hear on the mic afterwards? That's what I was just talking to Gilbert about. That's what I want to know. That's what I'm most excited about. Everybody got to tune in. Tell them. <laughs> they got to tune in to hear because this guy going to, I'm, I, I know a little bit. We talk. I don't know exactly what he's going to say, but I can let everyone at home know this guy's going to break the internet. They're going to break the freaking friends. So make sure you guys tune in. But what do you think? First, I need to break Benoit Sandini's face, my brother. That's the truth. And, and, and that's my only focus right now. Uh, I'm going to the airport, you know, I, I'm going to do the flight and, and get ready. And I'm not too worried about after the fight. Again, I am 100% focused on, 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 on be ready and beat him September 28th. And, and, but you never do, right? Like you have a couple... I think three or four interviews that went viral, right? Like the one after Drew Dober, the Jalen Turner, the one at MSG, like you, Alex Hernandez. Hernandez. Sure. So, but big stakes. Yeah, but all, all goes crazy. But you have a little, like a little keys that you want to talk, or you just go crazy and, and like freestyle and, and goes how 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 is that process after the fight? Because for sure you gotta focus on the fight. But how how is the level of focus like? You just focus on the fight, let me kill this guy. Then later I I, I go freestyle. I don't care. Or you're like, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. But after a week, I'm a, I gotta talk a little bit of these, these and that. How how would that process go to you like for your uh, after the fight? Usually I have a little kiss. I don't think what I'm gonna say like line by line because that would be impossible, right? Fight five rounds. And then remember yeah. they script it and remember what I want to talk. So I, I always try to talk my heart, like how, how I'm feeling. And especially if I'm reading some books, you know, because when you're reading some books that, that I, I keep trying to process and to understand the book. And then that got to my head. So that's why last time I talked about uh, Ludwig von Mises and, and, and the six lessons, write the book that went viral. But I'm reading all the books now, and what? so then my mind is fresh with this new topic. But I cannot talk to. What much. book? What book you reading right now? What book? I I don't want to I don't want to give you a spoiler. Okay, but that. after the fight, you gotta tell us the books. What books you reading? What book? Of course. What book you 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 advise people to read? Like because they gotta know boy Connor is not freestyle Bitcoin crazy stuff. You know, you got a lot of a lot of intelligent stuff too. No, like I, I am telling people, like if you want to know and understand about economics and the world that we're living in right now, you should try to 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 read the classics, you know, of the Austrian economic school. So if you want to 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 read Ludwig von Mises, Murray Hofbach, Hans Hermann Hope, and many many others that talk about what is going on right now, and that is. People say the, the the inflation is the CPI the, that the government tell you, but the real inflation is uh, when the, the the government print money to do welfare and to subsidize 
another company. So the Austrian Economic School say you have to 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 put a stop on this, otherwise you're going to destroy the economy, destroy the dollar, and especially right now the the Fed just just cut a little bit the the just cut a little bit the the interest. Yeah, so th that tells me yeah, that I we are that. almost on a yes, on a right. fucking depression recession. I think so because when they start to cut the the, the, the interest like that, that show that people are not buying, the economy is not is, is not going, so they have to cut to, 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 to try to get more people to buy houses and to buy stuff. But let me tell you something. We did not have an increase of, uh, of uh, production, you know? People are not working more. Uh, uh, companies are not making more money. So if you cut the, 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 the interest, that means we are fucked, brother. The inflation gonna hit us again, and especially right now with the country so divided, Kamala Harris and and, and, yeah. and Trump. Once, man, I'm very worried because I, I talk, I'm talking to people, and some people are willing to vote Democrat. That's unbelievable, crazy. I know. And so, so that's why I, I I recommend you to to understand Bitcoin N now more than ever, because if the Democrats get elected again and keep doing the same policies, just printing money, letting people in and, and, and fuck middle classes and, and fuck people that save money and, and keep money on the pocket, that's going to destroy the dollar. So that's why I recommend you yeah. a, a, a very good book that's going to teach you everything that you need to know about that. Uh, it's a guy named Saifedin Amos, very intelligent, very, very smart guy. And he, he, he made a book named Bitcoin standard, you know, and over there he explained how economy works on the vision of the Austrian economic, but in a language that you can understand. He talks about money, economy, and why you need Bitcoin to save your money from these fucking bureaucrats that nice. that, that use our money in a very bad way. So uh, shoot out, huge shoot out to Swan. Uh, if you want to buy with them, I recommend. But not not only then, you know, I, I'm telling you. Bitcoin is not only an investment, it is a way of life because you can't take your money out of the country. If yeah. the country is doing bad, like in Brazil, if the country is doing bad, like USA right now, and imagine if you have a second term of fucking Democrats, I hope and, 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 and I advise you to try to understand Bitcoin before you buy. Because if you just buy, because I'm telling you, you're going to lose money. You have to understand first how it works and then you have to know how to keep your 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 keys your secret keys safe like not in a in a exchange you have to have control of your bitcoins yeah. you have to do your self custody of your bitcoin and then people are not going to steal from you government not going to steal from you and you're going to be safe so try to understand yes. bitcoin that's my only nice. my only message for Wait, you Kano, i have a question bro you you beat BSD next weekend. Is there a chance you get on the mic and tell the people to vote for Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I knew for not sure. Because, I, not I, say, not he spoiled, bro. I did, I knew that, that that question, but I said I'm not gonna ask that because I'm right, gonna spoil we'll cut that it. Out. We can cut don't, that out. It's up to Moicano. Don't spoil that, bro. Let these guys. No, you, you guys, you guys can. I'm not talking. You know the. Like the last time and every time that I talk about politics, I'm not, I'm not saying names. I'm not saying I'm saying policies. Right, and right. I, I am not a fan of politicians. You know, I'm not a fan of politicians. I'm not even fan of democracy right now, brother. I'm I'm reading so much, and there is so much difference between a liberal democracy and a constitutional republic, and that was what the founding fathers of America of the United States they intended to do was a, consti a constitutional republic. It's completely different than a the liberal democracy and, and, and like everybody is voting. And, and, and if you understand about that, you, you know why the government keep, keep, keeps people poor like in Brazil. Because if you have control of the machine, if you can print money, you want people to be poor. So they're going to vote for you. The dog never going to bite the hands of who feeds them yes. you know i don't know if i, I will be clear with that yes, but right. that's why nowadays i'm not a huge fan 
of the liberal democracy that will live in every place, in every state, in, in, in every government of the Western world. So I have a lot of criticism. And the book that I will tell will address specifically that. Why democracies are ruining and why democracies are so bad. Because think about that. When you are at your home, like Hubert has, has children and wife, uh, that, that's not a democracy. Because if you, every day you have to vote what you're going to eat, your kids are, 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 you have more kids than you. They're going to vote for ice cream every day. You know? They're going to yeah. vote for ice cream every day. So we have to realize. I'm not going to spoil that. That's for after the fight, my brother. Yeah, don't but spoil it. Don't yeah, spoil it. Yeah. Well, he came back with that. that really. I knew when he asked yeah. about Trump. And he, why are you asking about Trump right now? You're going to come yeah. back. <laughs> hey, let, let's, let's go back a little bit to the let fight. Let me talk about Trump a little bit. Let me... Tr- See, that was your no, fault. <laughs> because he did the whole politician. Then yeah, he came back and asked about, about Trump. <laughs> that was your fault. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I'm going to talk about Trump because, like I say, I, I'm not a fan of the liberal democracy. I'm not a fan of people voting because politicians, they get used to the power and they're going to use the power to keep, to keep the power and to keep in high places, you know? But Donald Trump, he's not a politician. He's not a career politician. He, he has done several business like multi-millionaire business he was a real estate guy uh, he was he was very su- successful before politics before politics yeah. you know and i don't like people that live off politics because these people usually they don't they don't do shit they don't create jobs they don't have companies they are not like us right, right? because we are here are paying taxes we are here doing stuff with the podcast, with the fighting, with even with the gambling, even with everything that you make money, you generate uh, 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 jobs, you know, and you pay taxes. But most of politicians, they just suck up of the government. So I, I'm, I'm going to say again, I'm not a fan of politicians, but some politicians are better than others. And if you put Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, you cannot compare the two, yeah. you know? Donald Trump is so much better than Kamala Harris. And I don't know why the fuck some Americans cannot realize that. But again, I, I'm not trying to be too political well, over Americans, here. Americans just are because stupid, you are, bro. We're stupid. Not America. Everybody's stupid. Yeah, yeah. And that's why democracy sucks. Yeah. Because most of the people are dumb. Most of the people are fat. But most of the people do the decisions. And they're going to vote for fucking Kamala Harris. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's why democracy is fucked up. Well, Kamala Harris somehow is like... She's now up to like a 55 to 60 percent favorite to win the election, bro. How do you wow. Unbelievable. I'm, be- I'm so worried about that. I'm so worried about that. Because I have all my uh, money. Gilbert here, wants bro. to move on. Hey, hey. All right, Look, we're moving on from go. politics. Who, who is gonna be in your corner for this fight? Because I, I have a question <laughs> for you. Because uh a teammate of you for sure was a long time ago, Tiago Moses. He's even I like the guy a lot too. A lot of his coaches were there when he fought this guy in 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 France, right? Paris. But was the was the same coaches a, a lot of the same coaches that they that they're going with you because I'm asking this because this guy saw this guy. I I don't honestly I I kind of like the guy's side, but it's, for me it's nothing like wow. He's he's strong. He looks big. Hits hard. His jujitsu is good. I don't think his jujitsu is crazy. So who? Pahumpa, yeah, Pahumpa is going to, I believe Pahumpa is going to be in your corner. Who else that help him, um, Mo, Thiago Moses Camp is going to be there with you, helping you for, for your fight? Yeah, Pahumpa is going to help me for sure. And we are even training because he say, hey, it's going to be loud. When Thiago Moses fight was loud as fuck, we could not hear anything. So we are doing specifically training. Sometimes even between the rounds, they are not telling anything because they say, you're not going to listen to me. So I'm wow. prepared for that. I'm prepared for the crowd and I'm ready. I'm 100% ready, my brother. I'm going over there to beat Benoit Sandini on September 28th. Nice. Yeah. How you think that fight goes? You know, if you go for sure, you is a, a fight. can go a lot of different scenarios. Cut can happen. This can happen. But how do you see the fights going? I, I, I am seeing I'm winning. I'm finished Benoit Sandini. I don't know, TKO, maybe uh, submission. Like Jalen Turner, I'm not giving up. That's for sure. And I know he's tough. I know he. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a tough fight. But I'm ready for it. And 
and I can't wait, brother. I can't wait. I, the, the, the only problem is I have to travel fucking nine hours and then I have to cut weight, but it is what it hey, is part of the business. You like, got so you have a. It sounds like you have a nonstop flight, don't you? Nonstop. Is that record flight? Come yeah, on. Oh, bro. Okay. So nice. I'm getting. Yeah. I just bought Kyle a flight yesterday. I'm buying myself a flight tonight. It was like a fifteen hundred dollar difference per ticket if I go nonstop versus direct. So I'm like debating. Cause I'd rather I'd rather put that fifteen hundred yeah. on you, bro. I'd rather bet you bet your money line. Yeah, but let me ask it. you: I, you 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 yeah. flying business or you flying economy? Uh, I got Kyle. I think I think it was economy. I haven't bought my ticket yet. I'm about to no. do that tonight. But no, uh, for sure he's he's going business class first class. Nah, 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 nah. He, he, you think he's gonna see it out like in the bus bro, seat all the way I, to France? Here's what I do when I fly, bro. Yeah. I get a ticket. I take that little mint mint sleeping pill pop that bitch on my tongue i'm out cold for five hours and then i wake up that's so, it so but i need two of those for this he, yeah but you're not but you're not fucking fight a french motherfucker <laughs> yeah you yeah, know you're in, right. in one week my brother i have to rest i know, know? i know i know so i think <laughs> you can get a stop go get a stop but you stop a little bit i like when, yeah, when yeah. the flight is too far i like to take a little break you know yeah. if it's like five hours directly six hours i agree until seven eight hours directly more yeah. than seven I need to stop a little bit. I need a little walk. I need to drink water. I, yeah. I cannot be like on a freaking... Dude, sitting still yeah. on a plane for so long, your whole you know, lower yeah. body getting no, yeah. fucking hurting. You I need a chiropractor. You're getting old, I'm my going brother. To, I'm going to... 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 I'm Yeah, he's going to lay down. I'm sleeping, bro. brother. Uh, uh, friends. Oh, uh, nice, nice. But who, who's going to be in your corner? Pahumpa, Gabriel? Who else? Ivan. Ivan. And, and probably Pitchbull because oh, Pitchbull too, we have nice. a lot of guys. Pitchbull too, yeah, we have we have a lot of guys fighting on this card. We have a French guy that that was in ATT training. We have Prince Duncan, the lightweight. Nice. Uh, we have Ivan, a guy from Croatia. He was KSW KSW champion, and he's mm. debuting in UFC too. So we have a lot of a lot of uh, ATT guys. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of a lot of. Nice and Pitbull will be good because Pitbull, Tiago Alves, he was training Dustin to Justin Five BSD. So Tiago Pitbull know him very well. Pahumpa was cornering Tiago Moses, so yeah. they all know this guy super well. I think that's amazing when you have your corners know the guy already. Right. They're gonna be oh, he kicks hard. Watch out with this kick, but he's just low on that. So he's, yeah. he's he's very good to have these guys on the corner. So. I'm ex very excited for this fight. Were you able Were you able to get any reps in with like with Dust with Poirier or with Tiago, guys that have you know fought BSD already? Were you able to train directly or get yes, some I, insight from them? Yes, I I, I train a lot of Thiago Moisés and and he was talking to me like he, he, the guy is strong, the guy is very strong. So especially because uh, he fought he fought Benoit and then we training together. And we are both lightweights, of course. So uh, he was telling me, be ready. He's very strong. So I'm not un underestimating him, you know. I know his stuff. I know he's strong. Uh, Dustin Poirier also gives me some tips. But in the end of the day, doesn't matter. I have to go yeah, over there yeah. and, and do my job, you know. And my job is be be beating him. For yeah. sure. But did, did he, Dustin came? I don't think he came, right? Dustin Poirier came. You guys got a little raps for this. He specifically came. He came to Florida or no? Not, not for this specific camp, you know. In the end of the day, uh, uh, I know he had a, a very hard training camp against Islam, you know, yeah. against Benoit Sandini. And I didn't want to bother him, you know, even though we talked to him on, on the Las Vegas, yeah. uh, on, the, on the International Fight Week, and he was more than ready to, to, to come down and to train with me, to help me for the fight. I did the... I, I saw him, he was in a vacation or something, and I said, hey, I'm not going to message him, I'm not going to yeah, be yeah. selfish and try to, you know, to make him come to ATT just to train with me, I don't want to do that, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, but but I, I had a couple, couple good guys, you know, softballs nice. and guys that could emulate him a lot and do his style, and and I'm I'm glad that I didn't have to train with Dusty for here because he would beat my ass, my brother. <laughs> When 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 BSD fought Tiago Moises, he kicked him in the groin twice in under a minute. Are you worried about that, bro? Are you worried about the the baby Moicanos? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm very worried about them, my brother. So <laughs> that's why maybe I will start the fight as a southpaw. Yeah, <laughs> but another thing too, I you watch my fight, I freaking lost. I don't, I didn't fight the way I wanted. No excuse. But you know what I do, right? When the guy kicking me on the balls, you saw what I did, you know. You kicked him back. That's what you gotta Dude, do. Right we were back. debating in person. We were debating if you, you did that on do purpose. The, right the guy kicked you on the balls. You, and then that she hurt. That was like took my time. When they come back, I'm just gonna do a, a inside low kick. If it goes there, it goes there. Bah! Right away, <laughs> give it back. You know, so they they know what's up. Yeah. All right, Moicano, the question. I was in high Aliyah, my brother. You, I knew he was in high Aliyah. That was the place <laughs> that I tried to say. Aliyah, For brother. sure he was in high Aliyah. That's where uh, Pat Downey, Pat Downey and yeah. Luis Pena used to live in high Aliyah. High Aliyah is so crazy. <laughs> all, all the listening, all the guys there at home right. watching us. High Aliyah, you got chickens in the street, you know, like, <laughs> it's Cuba, Cuba, like. <laughs> all right, Moicano, hey, the if question. You go to high Aliyah and try to speak in English, People are gonna beat you up, my brother. You have to <laughs> <laughs> All right, Moicano, the I'm question. I'm not even joking. One day I went to a fucking mall and I was trying to order something in, in English and say, Trust Maluco. Maluco, cabron. Huh? Hey, All right, Moicano, the question from Gilbert. He said, Hey, brother, I am, I am, I am, I am going to your favorite place. There's a casino. casino. It's passing by, by the casino. Look at that. Can you see? Look at the Hard guitar. Rock, baby. Look let's at go. the guitar over there. Yo, let's, take, let's make a quick pit stop, play a few hands, bro. <laughs> no way. All right, bro. Moicano, the question Gilbert wants to know. He wants to know if, if BSD hits you with a nut shot, are you firing one back right at him? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I think th this is fucked up, my brother. Why would you do that, my brother? You got to give it this back. Like the cheating, guy kick right? you in the balls, it's, you nah, kick but, it back. But can you be 100% sure that he he wanted to kick you in the balls? Or but you don't know, like, too. You kick you kick like inside <laughs> kick. If he goes there, he goes there, you know? If he eye poke you, you just eye poke him back. <laughs> No, but I will be ready and I will be ready to check <laughs> no. the kicks, you know? That's uh, it. Now I, have, I, I, don't I, have a, I have a serious question for the gamblers out there. You said when you fought Jalen Turner, you were the best underdog of the year. You were a plus 200 dog. You came through, came back, won in round two by, by ground and pound. You cashed a lot of gamblers' tickets. For this fight, you are now a near plus 220 underdog. Are you an even better underdog for this fight than the last fight? What do you think? Yes, yes, 100%. I always trust in myself. I trust in my training. And and I have a... I'm sure that I will beat him September 28th. Let's go. I'm the best, the best underdog of the year again and again. Let's go. What are we thinking, bro? Like a round two submission, round three? Brother, if I am... <laughs> if, if I could bet... Yeah. <laughs> if I could What's bet, gonna be your bet? And if, if I bet. see no, if if I see money Moicano plus two hundred free money, bro. That's free <laughs> Let's money. go. That's all I need to hear, bro. And guess what, Moicano? I'm gonna be betting in fucking Euros, bro. I'm gonna be in Paris. Euros? Do you know do you know the dollar to euro? Like what what a hundred uh, what's a hundred US dollars to euro? Do you know? It was a little bit higher. I right? think it's one hundred and thirty something, right? I think yeah, 100 a hundred US dollars. I think is ninety euros, right? No, I think the there's an opposite. No? Yeah, it was a yeah, little yeah. higher. Yeah. Not much, it was a little bit higher. <laughs> usually, usually, né? Yeah. Usually, I don't know right now, but usually euros is a little bit more. No, no, euros is ninety. Hey. Euro, it's one dollar to ninety cents. How, how many euros you bring to 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 to, to France? I'm, I'm bringing a credit card because Paris is fucked up, brother. They are stealing motherfuckers in the street, my brother. That is right. a bunch of fucking what? motherfuckers trying to rob you over there. So <laughs> you, know? you landing Saturday. What time you get there? Saturday what? They're going to be a couple, couple hours ahead. So 11 a.m. What are you most yeah. excited to see in France those days? Not, not about the guy. I mean, you're going to fight already, but... You excited to see something, the Tory AFO, maybe something, or like, no, we're just gonna. No, brother, are you crazy? Uh, you know about the history of Tory AFO, AFO Tower? Tell us, tell us. Do you know why? Tell us, tell us. Do, don't you know why no. the motherfuckers made the AFO 
You see, that's why you have to read some fucking books. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Torre Eiffel. How do I say that in English? Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Tower. Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower was a commemoration. It's commemoration, right? Celebration. Celebration was a celebration of the 100 years, uh, not 100 years, I don't remember. I think it was 100 years of uh, the French Revolution. There was a memorial for the French Revolution. Wow. And if you know what is the French Revolution, you're not going to like French Revolution. You know? Wow. Do you know something about French Revolution? They killed more than four, four, 40,000 people. Most of them was people from the church. They want to, to destroy church. They want to... They destroy church, they destroy monarchy in the name of this democratic republic, democratic liberal republic. So I don't like French, I don't like... Uh, But how, how long ago you read that book? Uh, Or was it recent? I don't know, one time, I one time, no, a long time ago, like okay. two, three, or I four thought, years I thought, ago. I thought I he was it. studying to, the, to, the, to get that no. mic after the fight. No, 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 no. Four, four years ago, I think, three, four years ago, I read a book of Edmund Burke, one of the first thinkers, like con conservative thinkers, and he wrote a book named The Criticism of the French Revolution. And then he talks a lot about that, like nice. the bad that French Revolution, because most of people, they like French Revolution, especially liberals, especially people from the left. And they say, ah, uh, the monarchy was bad, So then the, the people took power. And, but that was not the case. Of course, I'm not saying the monarchy is always good. And if you see like uh, uh, Louis, 16, Louis 16 and Louis 13, they were very bad monarchy. But what came after that was worse, you know, yeah. was the, the reign of terror, which they killed a lot of people. And then Napoleon took over. And, and, and on, on the modern, modern times, he I become like a homework. Caesar. He was an emperor, you know, and he, he just destroyed the whole Europe, hey. brother. Hey. After the French Revolution, Napoleon uh, rose to power and he destroyed a lot of countries and he destroyed monarchies all over the Europe. So I don't like French Revolution. So I like that you're doing your homework. I'm so excited to you to beat this guy. And I know <laughs> I know you're going to beat this guy. I know for fact you're going to beat this guy. I'm so excited. Who's going to be there? Is DC? I think it's going to be DC, right? Or Michael Bisping? I, I, I think Michael Bisping. Michael oh, Bisping. Michael Bisping is even Ooh. better than DC. Michael Bisping going to give you that mic. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. I cannot wait for you. <laughs> Because now he knows the whole story. So he knows everything. He's being studied. I can't, bro. No, but th th that's not the... That That, that's not even about France. That there was a book that I read a lot of, But a lot of times ago. I just, Now I'm reading I economics, wait, Austrian economics. I, I, I just want to see you getting viral, bro. Getting the mic and people going to. <laughs> 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 I'm excited, bro. Let's go. Yeah, that's. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! I can't wait, bro. I'm gonna be there, Moicano. I'm a, I'm a brain a Brazilian. Flag and I a have, USA have, flag. Where you got one for me? I have Brazilian flag. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait, bro. I'm gonna be in the crowd. This is gonna be the first time I've ever been in in, uh, in France too. Is yeah. have you ever been to France, Morgan? No, no I, ne I never been to yeah. Europe before. Wow. Oh yeah, I was in Europe okay. a couple of times. They stopped in France, but we're just a connection flight. Yeah, I never, I never went. All the airport, Dude, I'm so. I'm so pumped, bro. I can't yeah. wait for this. So you have more. You have. You say we have a couple, like two, two, three mates fighting on the on the card. How is those guys? Yes. Those guys I, are live dogs or what? I don't even know what the odds are and who they're fighting. Is it? I think Chris Duncan. But, Chris Duncan. But you, he. I think he. I think. I don't know if he's underdog, but he's fighting a striking. I strike it. I think that's a good fight for him. But you have that pick from one of your boys, like this guy's not losing, like like you had that before with a uh, with uh with that guy Don Dawson. You you one of the da Dawson Dawson, yeah. one of these guys is like that, oh, yeah. like oh this guy's not losing one of your teammates. Yeah, but the problem is the problem is I, I was I was so sure about the fight because I had trained Dami Hazovic back in the day, he was in the ATT, yeah. you know. And Dawson is from ATT. So I train with both. 
So right. I knew what, what would happen, you know, and yeah. I knew 100% like Dami is a good striker, but his wrestling was not that great. And, and, and Dawson, his wrestling is very good. So I, I could see how the fight would go. But I, but now I don't know the guy that Chris Duncan is fighting. I don't know the other two is guys. Chris that Duncan the, on the... Yes. Yes, Chris Duncan is, is fighting I strike, yeah. I don't know who is the guy. Why is. don't I see him on the card? Nice. So, all right. Well, let's go through. Yeah, let's go through some of this card. Just some good fights. We got to do some picks. We got to build a parlay here. There's some some live underdogs on the card for sure. Uh, here's a fight I really like. Let's start right here. Matt Favola versus w who you think is winning that fight? Fer Ferizian or Matt Favola, Moikan? Matt Favola is a minus 140 favorite. Fair Ziam, technical, yeah. technical striker. Might be able to kind of evade the power shots of Favola, but Favola has the wrestling in his back pocket too. And like Gilbert and I were talking before the show, like Ziam can get taken down by him too. Yeah. I think Favola can kind of outdog him here. What do you think? Yeah, if, if, Matt, if Matt Favola fights the way he fought, uh, Jalen Turner, you remember, like mixing up boxing and takedowns and being relentless. Uh, he has a chance, but the, on the striking, this guy is very good for his. Yeah, I agree. Ferry Zian, he came to Kill Cliff, he did a couple camps there. He's very good striking. I like the guy a lot. Good knees, good straight punches, good kicks. Not a lot of wrestling. He can grapple a little bit, but not wrestling. Uh, I, I think for Vola. If Favola mix it up, it's a good fight. If Favola just wants to strike, he, he's going to lose. But it's kind of a close fight for me. But if Favola yeah. mix it up, he wins. If he doesn't mix it up, Ferris Ian is a great striker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Chris Duncan actually opens up the car. That's why I didn't see it. Um, Chris Duncan. How do you pronounce his name, Gilbert? Oki? Boleji Oki. Who's that? Oki. Uh, uh He's nine and one, third fight in the USC. I think it's a pretty close fight. I don't know. It's that it's down in the prelims in the first fight of the night. If you guys can scroll down, uh, yeah. right. Uh, no, keep going all the way at the bottom. Right here. Okay, Bull. Bull. Yeah, Lige Chris Duncan's Oki. like a almost two to one underdog. Oh yeah. Oh, Chris Duncan. He's good. I like. I like that guy, Chris Duncan. He, you trying to hit a lot or not? Not really, Moikan. Yes, Chris Duncan. He's he's a very powerful striker. Yeah, he's a good. lot of knockout power. Yeah, and and decent grappling, but decent scrambles. Like his jujitsu is not the best, like as far as submissions. But it's very hard to finish him. And he's he tough, knows, right? He's a tough dude. Yeah, he's yeah. tough. Tough. Always, always chasing the knockout. You know, so. Yeah, he's favorite. He, he, he's he, a, so he's he tough, just lost yeah. the Manuel Torres, who was just on the Noche USC card and got got uh, put away by Bahamandas. Um, oh yeah, but that guy hits very hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but Manuel Torres was able to find his back and get a rear naked choke against him. Um, I have a feeling this fight could maybe play out similarly, though. I don't know. It's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. I think he's an underdog for. Yeah, yeah I saw this guy. I saw I saw this guy fighting at the Contender Series. But Jai Aki, right? Yes. I think he was in the contender series. Yeah. And he strike it. But Chris Duncan, I think Chris Duncan is going to mix it up. I, I think Chris Duncan is a better fighter, too. The guy yeah. is tough, but Chris Duncan, my opinion, is winning that fight. For sure. All right, well, let's move way up the card here. Uh, we touched on the, the Frivola fight already. A fight I want to get your guys' opinion on. Kevin Doucette versus Brian Battle. Yeah. We scroll down a little bit here, Kyle so, or Mike. Scroll down to Kevin Jusset versus Brian when, Battle. When I went to Australia, that guy fought over there, Kevin Jusset. He's yeah. a French guy, but if I'm not wrong, he lives in a, in a he trains at other science team. He lives all the way yeah, there. Yeah. He lives in New Zealand. Right. And everyone was praising this guy for his strike. They say he's a great kickboxer. I just think Brian Battle is he's a better fighter. You know, the guy is in, on the rising right now. He's huge for the division, super confident. Yeah. You saw last fight he beat. Uh, I think they did a no contest. It was a but no he contest, was, but, but he was, he was beating, beating Angelouza. Angelouza. Yeah. He was looking very good. I I think 
Jusic can fight, but I think Brian Battle is just over, well rounded in a, in a in like stronger, yeah, good momentum right now. I think Brian Battle wins that fight. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think Kevin Jusic wins the fight. You really? think Kevin Jusic winning? Yeah. Maybe the say like yeah. a decision, maybe. Yes, he's a very. I think he's a very technical striker. Yeah, yeah, but I, I watch him. Brian before. Battle's I grappling agree. is nice. I though. just think Brian Battle gonna mix it up. If he's just striking, I agree with you. Kevin yeah. Jose is better, but well rounded. I think Brian Battle is gonna be yeah. able to mix it up. Battle has two subs now in the UFC out of his six fights. He's only losing to elite guys. Like he lost to Renat Fakhardinov. Uh, and how was that uh, fight decision, right? Seven takedowns to zero. Outstruck him. He got outstruck 43 to three. It was well, just he couldn't decision, stop. Decision, right? Yeah, just a decision. He's very durable. Uh, nice yeah, I think Kevin Jusset's maybe live on the on the cards, but I lean Brian Battle late. Maybe like a round two, three finish. Me too. I think is live here. He's a dog, man. I, I like Brian Battle. And, and, I, and I like that fight, the following fight there, the winning gummies against Joe Anderson. Yeah. Brito. Dude, Joe Anderson ah, Brito is one of my favorite fighters. Joe Anderson Brito on, bro. is a monster, bro. Hey, that guy, if I'm not wrong, that guy, no, not last loss because uh, beat Diego lost. Diego, but Diego lost to Evelo Ev, but yeah. he was the guy that that beat the contender Diego series on the contender, contender series. series. So yeah. Joe Anderson Brito is a monster. Even mm. though Evelo Ev lost the opponent, I thought they would, they would, I was thinking that he might they might took Joe Anderson Brito out to fight. Ever, I was thinking that was gonna happen, but it yeah. didn't did nothing. But I think it's going to be Jean Silva. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was kind of talking to him a little That'd bit. His hands electric. are not good. Yeah, his hands are not clean. You know. Yeah, that, he should. Just I was wait. even pushing for him, but when I heard he he wasn't clear for his hands, then I like okay, gotta be Jordan or some Brito, yeah. but. I don't think so. I think Jordan Sabit might be on the way to France right now, but yeah, I don't know. This guy William Gomez is tough, but whenever I saw that guy looking like a crackhead making <laughs> way to fight, he was a crackhead, bro. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I don't even know the guy. I don't even the news to go over there. I was saying that, but he looked like a crackhead going to the way he's. And I'm glad they canceled the fight. They didn't like this guy fight. Yeah. Because he didn't look great at all. Let's see how he's going to look right now because it's still 145. Uh, I hope he has a good weight cut because if he comes a, like halfway to the fight, Joe Anderson Brito is a monster. Anyway, I think Joe, Joe Anderson Brito is winning this fight. So William Gomez had three straight fights that were canceled, right? Lucas Almeida was one of them. Gene Silva... I mean, I'm. I think Joe Anderson Brito is a dog, bro. He's yeah. actually he's a minus two sixty favorite here. I didn't realize it was that that steep of a favorite, but I think he can put him away, bro. He finished. Uh, who did he just finish? Uh, he finished Jonathan Pierce. That's not easy yeah, to do. No, you know he finished. Yeah, yeah. and the other guy, the the white guy. Um, Weston good. Wilson, Lucas Alexander. He's subbing and knocking out everyone, bro. The only person he didn't finish. Was Diego Lopez at the contender series? Yeah, Every no, other win a, has he's, been he's inside the distance I in like round one or two. Yeah, I'm going Jordan and Brito. I, I think we should put him in our parlay too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Me too, 100. All right, let's move up the card here. When we move up, who is who is the next one? It's uh, this is a very important fight. Only a three rounder, I believe, to my surprise. Yeah, it's right? only and so, I and I and I behind the scenes, the inside information, I heard they offered five rounds. Breno said yes. Imavov said no. Uh, I don't know. He don't want to fight five, five, five rounds, especially at home with Brandon. Yeah, that's strange. But I do believe, and he's my guy. I cannot go against Brandon. Brandon's my guy, teammate, great guy. I like him a lot. I'm going to be biased, but I got Brandon on a bye finish. I don't think he he's at the level of his career right now. If he goes out there and if he finishes him involved, title fight, he, he for sure is a yeah. title fight. But if he goes out there and a split decision win, the other day doesn't make the noise that he needs. Yeah. So I go with Brandon Allen by finish submission. Yeah, this is a tough fight. Yeah, me too. I think the three. I think the three round fight actually benefits Brendan Allen. I'm a little confused. Why Imavov wouldn't want the five rounder? Imavov looked really good in a five rounder against Jared Cannonier. He got better as the fight progressed. Brendan Allen 
struggled a little bit against Chris Curtis, right? It was it ended up being super close. Imavov is very well rounded, good wrestling, good grappling, very good striking. So I have some concerns here, but I think Brandon Allen is a live underdog for sure. I wonder if he can get his back in a three rounder, or if he, maybe win a split decision. I think he will. I yeah. think he eventually gonna take the back and he's It's a tough finish. fight though. I think we should leave this one out of the parlay. Okay. Who do you like, more, Connor, in this fight? Brandon Allen. I'm Brandon Allen. I'm going to Brandon Allen too. Okay. He. I mean, if we want to put, yeah. if you guys both like him, I'm down to put him in there. I, I'm rooting for him for sure. If you want to make a safer one for the parlay? Go yeah. scroll down a little bit, Kyle. Let's see. Uh, we so could go Joe Joe Anderson. Frivola's too risky too. I mean, I like Frivola, but that's a tough. Um, Jamie, Jamie, screw it out, Jamie. Definitely putting Brito in the parlay, but who else? How I think the other French dude, that guy Morgan. Oh, he's a monster, bro. Oh, he's gonna win. Yeah, that Brazilian guy's good. Gabriel uh, Miranda. Yeah, right there. Stop right, there. Stop right there. You think Gabriel Miranda? Uh, he's minus five hundred, bro. He's the minus French guy, right? Yeah, he's minus five hundred. One hundred percent Morgan Chayette. Yeah, <laughs> so you yeah, Connor, is that a ten thousand dollar bet? <laughs> is that a? <laughs> so who you think then? You think you? I think so. Yeah. You think you put thousand to win Morgan? Yeah, but he's minus five hundred. But on the parlay, might be good, right? You can throw him in. He ain't losing, in my opinion, but. So you want to put Joe Anderson Brito? We'll put him in. All right, Brito, Morgan. Uh, Brito, Morgan, Moicano. And we're split on the Brian Battle fight because Moicano's on the other side, uh, so we'll leave that out. I don't know what No, but get Chris you, Duncan. You, I you think and Cotelaba? Cotelaba? I think Chris Duncan would be a good Yeah, bet. Cotelaba is That's fighting. an underdog. Chris Duncan's underdog. Oh, right? yeah, plus 180, yeah. Uh, Moicano He's brought up. Fight. So Ian Cotelaba's minus 125. That's a close fight. I don't I, know much about it. I think him. the other guy will beat him. You think he will beat Kutalaba? Yeah, but he, Ivan, but he's he's from America Top Team. I could be biased. Okay, yeah, I don't know enough about him. I have to look at his tape footage. I have to look so, at some footage on that one. Chris Duncan is, is a dog? Yeah. But would you rather go Brendan Allen? I'd rather put Brendan Allen in if we're going with a dog. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, here's what we're doing, boys. Here's what we're doing. Here's the parlay of the week. This is smacking. It's a little higher risk than most parlays. We're going two underdogs. If you guys want to get paid, here it is. We're going Brandon Allen, plus 170. We're going Money Moicano, plus 200. We're going Joe Anderson Brito. Hey, how, how much how much of, of an underdog I was the last time? I think it was like a little bit less. It was like plus 150. Yeah, because yeah, it was plus 150 last time. Okay. All right, I'm starting fresh. Here's the parlay. Here's how you guys are going to get paid. Two underdogs, a little bit higher risk of a parlay for the show this time. Brendan Allen, money line, plus 170. Joe Anderson, Brito, money line, minus 260. Morgan Shirer, minus 500. And then to finish it off, the best underdog of the year, Money Moicano, plus 200. Let's see what it pays. Let's see what it pays for 100 bucks. You ready? One hundred dollars pays twelve hundred wow. bucks on that four leg parlay. That's how we're getting paid, guys. Go check out the link in the YouTube description. If you sign up with Fliff, you can get some free cash to play with by using the code Show Me, or just click the link in the description or in the bio. I kind of like that parlay. We got two underdogs on there, right? But the favorites are locks, in my opinion. Joe Anderson, Brito, and Morgan. Uh, knock on wood. Moicano is a lock as a dog. And then it comes down to Brendan Allen. Brendan Allen's got to bring it home for us. He will. I think he wins a 29-28 decision. That's my prediction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe a rear naked choke late, hopefully. But yeah. I think he gets it done, bro. He will. So I like that parlay a lot. I really do. I really do. Do you know if Brendan Allen is already in France? Uh, I can't ask. Yeah, probably he's living like you. He's probably living today, yesterday. Let me see. All right. While Gilbert's asking that, I want to ask Moicano a few questions not related to the card, not related to France, but Moicano. I'm just asking because I want. I want. Uh, oh, he's there already. I want. Uh, yeah, he's there. He's, what day he went? He's there. Uh, I don't know. I so saw he's on the Chelsea. He's staying now. 
because ask. I don't wanna. I wanna know if uh, I'm going a good, a good date. You know, to to get used to to the right time zone. They got there. They got there today. Today, nice. So Moikana. that was good because I could do my training in the morning. Moikana, I gotta ask you a question unrelated to the to this to this next weekend. What are your thoughts? Michael Chandler moves on from fighting Conor McGregor and is now going to fight Charles Oliveira. What do you think about that? Crazy, right? Me, when I saw that, I was surprised because Conor McGregor just throw the shit out of, out of everybody, bro. That game. Yeah. You know, almost two years waiting and Conor McGregor is a fucking... He, Man, he's a funny dude, right? <laughs> Conor McGregor doesn't don't give a shit, man. Yeah. You... But I'm glad that I'm glad that they giving him. I saw Gilbert Burns' video and I agree. I don't think UFC is trying to reward him a fight, Michael Chandler. I think that it is a fight that makes sense, you know, because Charles could beat Michael Chandler and, Ch and Chandler could beat Charles, so it's a fight. Both of fighters, they want the fight and they put on the title conversation again. So I think it's a good fight. Yeah, and if you look back at their first fight, Michael Chandler was seconds away from finishing Oliveira yeah. in the first round. Obviously, Oliveira rallied, weathered the storm early, came out yeah. in round two, landed that left hook early in, in round two, and eventually put, uh, put uh, Michael Chandler away. I think it's a very exciting fight. I think that for Chandler... Although everyone makes fun of him for waiting for so many years for the, the McGregor fight, if he puts away Charles Oliveira, like this is a very like this is Chandler's gambling right now because if he puts away Oliveira, I think it was all worth it. But if he loses to Charles Oliveira after waiting for two years, now there's going to be a lot of questions of like, you know, that it's just going to be tough for him. But if he goes out there and finishes Watch Charles Oliveira, record. Watch Michael in the UFC or in UFC MMA. Right in UFC. Two wins, two three losses. Yeah. He's still a... Uh, he's still new, brother, at yeah. UFC. So... Yeah. Six fights. But my know? question is, who you think is going to win? I think Michael Chandler cannot afford to lose. You, you think he's going to win? I think... I think he's going to win because he cannot lose. If Michael Chandler loses now, like Maddie was saying... He's done. Yeah. So that is, I think that is no option for him, brother. I know, but if he loses you believe now, he's gonna win. He's going to be four, four two, right? No, if if he yeah. wins, if he wins, I think it's gonna be a movie. He's gonna beat Charles, then he's gonna fight Connor, and then I think if he get that moment, then he might beat Connor and fight yeah. for the title. It's gonna be a movie. But I think if he loses, it's gonna be a movie for Charles Oliveira. Charles is gonna beat him, fight Connor. And then fight for the title. I think whoever wins is gonna be on the movie. Whoever loses, yeah, is it's gonna a be very, a tough one. It's what a very think? rewarding fight for the winner. Well, I'll tell you one thing: if yeah. I'm Michael Chandler and I beat Charles Oliveira, I'm going out on the mic and I'm saying, "Fuck Connor, give me Islam." Like you, got, it's like when Moicano was talking about. He's not gonna say these. But I'm just saying, like, think about Moicano. Moicano's fucking smart, bro. Went on the pod months ago. He, he positions himself properly where he ain't begging to fight Patty. You know, if you can't sit there and beg for a fight. You got to act like that fight don't mean shit to you. Give me the fucking champ. Exactly. I just beat Charles People Oliveira. I just finished yeah. Charles Oliveira. Give me Islam. Because now, all of a sudden, Connor's off to the side saying, wait a second, I want to fight. Yeah. I want to fight Chandler. You can't fucking beg for it. You yeah. got to go out, fin handle yes. your business. And I asked Gilbert this. I want to get Moikana's opinion. But is, it, is there a possibility that two years off, a guy like Michael Chandler that's been in so many wars, two years off, nonstop training, getting ready for that, you know, that McGregor fight. Is there a chance that he comes back and is more refreshed now, looks better, puts Charles Oliveira away, and all of a sudden is a title contender? Is that possible? I, I think that will happen. I think that will happen, you know. I think <laughs> Charles Oliveira. Why are you laughing? Because Gilbert's face, bro. <laughs> I was impressed. I didn't know you you felt that. I thought I thought. You think Gilbert was waiting for you. No, Gilbert man, was waiting for like you to trash Michael Chandler, him. Michael, yeah, Michael. 
I, I'm not changing my mind. I think, I think Michael Chandler, I think skill-wise, he's not the best. But he, he does have good skills. What's his skills? Like, he's very he has explosive. good wrestling Leads base hard, yeah. and very explosive and very good boxing. If he fights a fighter, they have more, have, have more, has more tools, you know, like can keep the distance. But Charles Oliveira never keeps the distance. Never yeah. keeps the distance. We saw that on the first fight. Of course, he could knock Chandler out, and that would be not a surprise. But like I say, I have a feeling that Chandler is very frustrated. Chandler is very, he knows, he knows is his last chance. Because Charles Oliveira is a former champion. Charles, Charles Oliveira is a legend. Michael Chandler, Michael Chandler are not. He's not. He's not. He knows that he he got granted the title shot. That's the truth. He never beat anybody. Who he beat in UFC? Dan Hooker Tony Ferguson and Tony Ferguson. And Dan Hooker. Yeah. Dan Hooker and Tony Ferguson. Uh, can, can, you, can you tell, like, he has a legend career by, 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 by beating a... No. Zero and five Tony Ferguson and a very like inconsistent. How I say that? Inconsistent. Inconsistent Dan Hooker. You know, I, again, I'm not fighting Dan Hooker now. I'm fighting Benoit Sandini, so I have no reasons to to talk shit to to Dan Hooker. But he's not one of the best. No. You know, he's, thing, he's not one of the yeah. And Dan, well, Dan Hooker was coming off he's of that five fighter. round war against Poirier when he took that fight against Chandler. I really think that impacted no, that fight he, a lot. He even said that too. He said that at that time that was COVID time. Yeah. He said when he accepted the fight, he was training just with one guy in the. Yeah. I don't know if he could Abu Dhabi. Maybe he couldn't come back to, to to New Zealand. He said he didn't train. He didn't have the coaches. So, but it is what it is. But yeah. I agree with what he's saying. But I just don't know about this fight. I think Charles Oliveira is like hungry, too much fighting. Yeah. That guy just fought Isla yeah. Arma, fighting the best guys, you know. So right. in the good it's moment, yeah, a but, little but, bit but, younger. Yeah. yeah, that could happen. But at the same time, Charles, he's not bringing anything new to the table. Like every time he's fighting the same, like trying to yeah. right. to brawl. And, and trying to take advantage of some positions, right? Because he's a very good grappler. But I think to become champion again, he needs to to do something different, right? That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Reinvent, but, right? but, but, but yeah. I'm not seeing uh, reinvent himself, exactly. You know? Yeah, the, the way the, the way Sean Brady did, you know? You know, Gilbert yes. is my friend. Brother, yeah. I was cheating for you 100%. But... but Sean Brady, he showed like better hands. He looked you know? good because yeah. he's a grappler. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with Charles Oliveira. I think he needs to invest a little bit more on, on his on his wrestling, offensive wrestling. You know, so so he doesn't have to rely so much on the on the jujitsu. You need to change if you want to to become better. But who am I to give to give? Uh, Can I call this in English? But like, to give your opinion about Charles, yeah. Who am I? Charles is a former champion. But yeah. like I say, I think Ch I think Chandler could beat him, especially because he knows the price. You know, he knows right. what is at, at stake right now. 100. I gotta ask your opinion. I know you got it. Probably gotta go soon, but uh, I gotta ask your opinion on another fight. So Bo Nickel is taking a fight against Paul Craig. Odds makers have easy him money. Odds makers have him as a minus 2,000 favorite. Is that disrespectful to Paul Craig, or is this an easy matchup for Bo Nickel? I think it's an easy matchup for Bo Nickel. I, I, re wow. I really do. Because, because Paul, you remember, Paul, when he fought the, the fight nerds? Caio. Caio, yes. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Trust Caio me. Caio <laughs> Yeah. My leg remembers, too. Remember. But, I, but Paul Craig doesn't change his game too. He's a jiu-jitsu guy, a very good jiu-jitsu guy, but his wrestling is not that good. And what can he do against Bonico? Do you think Bonico is going to be waiting for that triangle? He needs to be more aggressive, and, and Bonico is good at striking. He's not bad. He's good. He's young, He's and that's hard, a very yeah. favorable matchup. Do you think, do you think Bonico will just stand with him and try to get a KO? Because 
He just if he just wrestles him a whole fight, he's in danger every second. He, he's doing that. No, he, he he's going to do the same thing as Caio Bojaro. I think he that's a fight for him to get loose on the on the feet. You know. Okay. Okay. Fair. To, to test his strike, I think he will test yeah. his strike. And I think like if he feels da- if he feels he is in dangerous, he will be he will take down and just wait. You know. Yeah. Half guard, and avoid the. Ch- Man, nowadays it's very hard. It's very hard to get a armbar or a triangle. <laughs> what is that picture, bro? <laughs> yeah, they have me as a favorite. <laughs> All right. Well, last one. One other thing I want to ask you: They just made the Stipe versus John Jones fight official at the Sphere. I gotta ask both of you guys: Is there any possibility that people are overlooking Stipe here? I know he's forty-two plus years old. Is there any chance Stipe pulls off the upset here? Because it would be unreal if that happened. I hope not. I hope we, I want to see that capture done. You know, I want to see that fight done. Whoever going to retire, retire. We got to move on. Like, yeah. I respect both of guys. They're both legends. But uh, if they done, they done. Like, I need... Pl- please, no one get hurt. We get over <laughs> with this with this part. And then we got to move on with the heavyweight division. What do you think, Money? I think, I think he's he's old and he didn't fight. How long? When Two was years. the last time? And it was the Nagano knockout, right? He he fought before McGregor, but he's being wired here. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know that that to me doesn't feel like the undisputed right heavyweight title, right? He got so he got knocked out by Francis in March of 2021. That's the last time he fought. So three and a half years, basically. Wow. It's a yeah, long that's time, too much. Bro. Almost More four years. Connor, that's a right? long time. Uh, yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. That's so a long time. What do you Look think? at Diego if, Lopez. So Dana Diego made Tom... Lopez is a, Dana almost White, fighting for the belt in one year. Yeah. Dana White made Tom Aspinall the backup fighter. I want to ask both of you right now. If Stipe pulled out of the fight tomorrow, do you think John Jones would take the fight with Tom Aspinall? He signed. That's if, a good question. He, he is because if the guys are back up, both guys know he's he's got to fight. Yeah. Yes. But hasn't this happened in yeah. the past? Yeah, but in the Jones. past, it wasn't in the contract. Now he's on the contract. Now, he, he, uh, you know, the guys are back up. Yeah, I think he's fighting because, he's like fighting. Gilbert said, like the guy is the backup, so they know, like, if something happens. <laughs> But Steep Miocic is not going to pull out, brother. Three, yes. Nothing's three, happened. That guy's three not years without out. fighting. No one's pulling out. Exactly. Yeah. The fight is happening, and I think he, John Jones is beating the shit off Steep Miocic. I agree. I like it, bro. I like it. All right, last thing before Makana's got to go. What did you guys make out of the Marab versus Sean O'Malley result? And then what is your opinion of Marab's antics? Since or Sean O'Malley's antics since the fight, O'Malley uh, is Sean saying he won the fight. You get crazy. Make, you gotta respect the guy. Yeah. Anything that the guy says, the whole internet go crazy. That I'm not gonna fight for one year. Every page that you look, oh Sean O'Malley not gonna fight for one year. Next day, oh Sean O'Malley woke up with oh Sean O'Malley woke up all the news. So I like it what he does. You know, like he's only two guys, only two guys in the UFC that does that good. First one is Alex Pereira. He's the only guy that made the whole combat sports. Jake Paul fights, beats Mike Perry, call out Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira, uh, Drikus Duplass beats Adesanya. He just takes one photo, yeah, says he's yeah. going to come back, though. Breaks the great. internet. Oh, I'm going to come back. Yeah. And Sean O'Malley, those are the two guys. Sean O'Malley, yeah. oh, I'm going to come back in one year. The whole MMA talking about. Yeah. Oh, I won this fight. She won the field. The whole, I think. I think he's just doing it, and I think yeah. Mirab was way smarter than I thought for for a great fight. Dude, Mirab was trolling him the whole fight, bro. Kissing him, fucking doing the basketball shit, you know, on the feet. Yeah. He looked great out there. What did you th- What do you make of this whole situation, Moicano? I was surprised. I was surprised, but at the same time, I am. I was like, man, why I didn't tell that on the podcast? Because. You know, he was the underdog at one, at some point. Yeah, and that and everybody knew. Only Matty Bad thought that he would Sean Miley gonna get a finish, but 
That's crazy. That's crazy. You was a total domination, my brother. I thought O'Malley was going to win. Yes, Gilbert did. You, he got hit a lot. I you just picked thought, Marav. You picked Marav, what kind of? I, I picked Marav, okay. yeah. I just thought he's he's yeah. he's kind of slow going forward. He's going to get hit, but he fought very he smart. He fought a perfect fight. I didn't sure. see that side-to-side movement. I never perfect saw that before. He was yeah. side-to-side running. Changing level was on point. He fought way better yeah. than I thought. And, yeah. uh, but and now, let me tell you something. If, yeah. if he beats Umar, it's done. You think he if can he beat Umar? Umar I, don't, I don't think he can beat Umar. I don't know. What do you if think? If he beats, who's going to stop him? But who you pick, yeah. Umar or Merab? I'm going with Merab. Merab is a monster. I go with Merab Umar. Is, it's hard to keep down Merab, Merab, but Umar is... I think The Umar, thing is, here's what I will say. U- Umar at least has the submission abilities to get Marab out of there. Umar is so good. I think Umar is going to be the undisputed Mar- champion. And yeah. He's going to reign for a while. It's kind of giving me Duplessis Adesanya vibes where like Duplessis fought. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Duplessis is not the same. Comparing with Marab and Umar. You don't let me finish, bro. You don't let me finish. You're going to understand right, go, in a second, go, okay? Go. Duplessis, dethr- Duplessis fights and beats Sean Strickland. And then Adesanya comes back as the contender, right? And it sets up a massive fight for Africa, right? Same situation here. O'Malley loses his belt. And then Marab versus Umar. Umar is going to take the belt from Marab. And then O'Malley is going to come back for a massive title yes, fight. Like I O'Malley agree, versus, Mar- versus Umar. This I think I that's how it could play out. But I just think Umar could sub Marab. I think Umar is a Hey, guys. Hey, guys. You got to go? Hey, guys. I had to go, yeah. and thank you so much for the support, and let's go. I'm flying to Paris to get one more W, and we need to do this podcast like home office, my brother. That's good. Let's you know? go. And bro, I really don't have to go to the studio. <laughs> I, will, I will see you next week in Paris, bro. Before you leave, give us a one sentence for the podcast thumbnail. How does What happens next week? One sentence, go. Pa- Paris takeover, my brother. Moicano is coming for the Paris takeover. Let's go. That's perfect. That's perfect. Let's go. All right, bro. Safe travels, bro. I'll see? I'll see you next week. See you, my brother. See you. Oops. All right. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm yeah, so excited for next week. That was nice. I'm most excited for Moicano on the mic after. Oh, yeah. Me bro. too. Make sure you guys <laughs> tune in. He's going to go crazy. Make yeah. sure. It ain't it's a fight night. You don't need to pay nothing extra. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it a really? fight night. He's a fight night. Holy shit, that's crazy. Yeah, you don't need yeah. to make sure you guys don't need. Uh, and I think it's an early card too because they were in Europe. Yeah. So they kind of cut five, five, six hours ahead. So it's going to be early card right here. So it's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. Make sure you guys tune in, support our guy Moicano. And uh, he's not here, but I got to do his job. So make sure you guys <laughs> go out there, subscribe, like, share that with a friend. You know, that's the thing that you should do. Okay, these guys are crazy. My friend would like that. Share that with a friend. Activate the the bell, <laughs> everything, bro. Let's freaking go! So let's get this episode running and make sure you guys tune in next week for Money Moicano e Paris. Yes, sir. And guys, go lock in that parlay in the description. Code show me on Fliff get you some free coin to bet with. Four legs, one hundred pays twelve hundred. We'll see you at the cash counter next week.